Right, so whilst fitting the new chain of sprockets on the GSXR 1000, I found that this bearing in particular is rather rattly and graunchy. So I'm going to change them, all of them. So I'll take that out of there, take the spacer out. And then that one should just knock through. Just going to prise off the oil seal. Oil seal? Dirt seal. I need a bigger screwdriver. There we go. Nothing but old shit in there. Yeah, horrible. Horrible. Right, so, get that out of the way for a minute. Support that. And then get a drift and a hammer. And knock the old bearing out. Yeah. Not very happy. Very dried out, horrible bearing. And then check your bearing seat. And then we want the new bearing which is a fully sealed unit so now we want something to go on that right so a bit of grease to ease it in And it's symmetrical, so it doesn't actually matter which side goes in first. Right, so that's the nice new bearing in. I just want the nice new seal in. Again, a bit of grease, help it in. And that should pretty much be pushed home with your fingers there you go so that's the sprocket carrier done new bearing seated right home I'll put a bit of grease on that and again make sure your your bush hasn't got scores and scratches and all the rest of the crap. All looking good. Big double grease. Knock that home. And that's the sprocket carrier done. Put that out of the way. Bring in the wheel. Right. You'll see. Well, you might not see. You've got a, a spacer in there. 
which you can move from side to side which gives you just enough to get your chisel or your drift or whatever on the edge of that bearing you see that I'll zoom you in a bit so yeah you've got a spacer in the wheel a tube um, which you should be able to move ever so slightly up and down which gives you just enough that if you put your drift through you've got just a little lip on the bearing just enough to hit to get the bearing out so you take this one out first and then take your sleeve out and then go from this side and hit the other one through so we need some timbers down because we don't want to be hitting it on the disc not with the prices that discs are I could do it with a longer drift actually so long drift slide it down inside on the edge of the bearing That's gone. Oh, there's my fingers again. There you go. There's the spacer. Goes through the middle. There's the bearing. So it's not making the the noise or the movement of the other one, but um, certainly dirty, disgusting, sweet in there. Now. Spin that over. What's that lean? And then with the tube out. It's a lot easier to knock the other one out. And that one's a bit graunchy. A bit graunchy, grimy. So, just make sure you... Again, you... All your bores and that all right. The face the bearing's going to go on is all right. And everything else is all right. Where's the new one? Take it with size. All good. All good. Again, grease that up. Lovely. And then we'll smear a load of grease in there. Like that. And then spin it over. Then put the tube in. Oh, giving it a bit of a wipe and 
And again, just check for burring, burring and grooves and chips and bits of chisel, bits and bits and pieces and bits. Just generally check for bits, really. So, put the other beer in. And again, check the seat in. All good. Give it a good smear in. Your old one is a drift. And on this side, it doesn't have a dust cap, as the spacer. So it has to be able to accommodate that. There you go, sitting nicely. Washer in, still got movement on your inner tube, spacer tube. And now we want, again, a good smear in the grease. Like so. Throw that away, that away, that away, that and that. So that's the bearings done. Just gonna get some brake cleaner and make sure there's no grease on my disc. I don't want grease on my disc, actually. 